rights when the, when the Jews left Egypt, were slaves in Egypt. I don't know if you guys knew about that. We recovered. Uh, what a fun story that is. Here's the basis of the story. Some woman, you know, uh, she was a slave and she had a slave son named Moses and she wanted um, Moses to be raised like a slave. So she just took a fucking half court shot. <laughs> She was like, I don't know, I'm gonna think outside the box here. How about we just chuck it in a river? We'll put it in a little basket. And we'll throw it into the crocodile infested Nile River. And hope for the best. And man, she swished it. Baby did not get eaten by crocodiles or tip over. Uh, it went right to the Pharaoh's daughter. The Pharaoh's daughter, the king's daughter was like, oh, I love, you know how chicks are around babies. She's like, I love a baby. Oh, I want a baby. So she raised it like it was her own. She raised this Moses. I don't know how he knew his original name, but same name. And, uh, <laughs> coincidence, lucky coincidence on that. Eventually, he was 19, 20 years old, went to his grandfather, the Pharaoh, the king, and he was like, hey, motherfucker, I got news for you. I'm not your grandson. And the Pharaoh was like, yeah, my daughter was never pregnant. We know. <laughs> she didn't ever do that. Plus, you're balding with glasses, so... <laughs> I think you came from Slave Island over there. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the story. The Jews were slaves in Egypt. Egypt was a superpower. And their labor force, their manual labor force, was the weakest, most complaining people in the world. <laughs> I mean, there's nobody softer than Jews. 